Hey guys, Brett here with the Hornet King channel. So I'm doing something that I don't usually do, a winter time removal. This is a nest that I removed for a client. Um, it's the dead of winter here in PA. Matter of fact, there's like 10 inches of snow on the ground. So it's not really wasp season for doing massive nests. However, this client had a dead nest at his house. Well, he was afraid that there were still wasps inside of it. He didn't want to do it himself. And, uh, and he wanted to make sure that I uh, preserved his marriage by removing this nest. This thing was huge. It was a German yellow jacket nest or Vespula Germanica. And they make some of the larger nests that are annual. So they really are only one season. However, in houses, they can be multi-season nests. So I was a little unsure whether or not this thing would have adults inside of it still, meaning queens, that would then continue on the, the nest the following season. Let's get the nest. That's, that's pretty wild. It's always neat to see how they build because their their structure is different for every colony. I mean, they they just they just kind of build happenstance. You know, it's just like oh well, let's add a little layer here, or a layer here, and you know, as opposed to other you know insects or animals that they build like squirrels will build the same style nest oh, every see, time. Right. You know what I mean? But so they're you still think they're dormant then? Yeah, I don't think there's any in here. Right. You don't even think the queens are in there? Dormant? Or you think they? Oh, uh, there there might be. I'm just gonna see if I can just just break it loose. And, I mean, you're not like have anything going on that you need me to be out of here soon or anything. You got nothing. Okay. Wouldn't that be funny if I just completely didn't know the hell I was talking about and I cut this thing open and they start swarming me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't be funny for you, but <laughs> like a very quick exit. Yeah, right. <laughs> What I would do is I just turn off the light because at least then they wouldn't really know where it's coming from. Yeah, this goes up between the rafters, so there's there's definitely a structure up there, I think. It'd be really cool to get this thing down in one piece so we could see as a whole what it looks like. It's not too many times that I get to do a winter time removal. You know, usually it's late fall, early winter, but I had one time where somebody called me in to do a, a removal that was like uh, snowing outside, but not, it's not very often that happens. You say your wife found me on Facebook? Is that what it was? Well, she, I think she asked. She puts them on Facebook. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's great. Oh, that's great. That's great. I always appreciate yeah, that. You would say, oh, you can take it down yourself. I'm like, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't care how, if it's, they've been dead 10 years. Yeah, right. <laughs> Building on your pipes and everything. How many of these would you say you've removed over the years? Oh my god, dude. Um, hundreds, thousands? Probably probably hundreds. I would really? say upward of close to five hundred maybe. Really? Yeah, during the busy season, man, it's it's nuts. Like and uh, and that's not just all big ones, it's you know, little ones and everything else, but I mean it it gets really intense during the uh, the peak season. Ah, that's all right. I'm actually going more by feel than I am by looking. Like I said, I'd like to just pull it down all one piece if I can get it down. So odd. I have no idea what I'm touching. <laughs> oh, God, what is that? That's so weird. But even though it, I know nothing's in there, it's still just odd. Yeah, it just goes up to the insulation. It doesn't go any higher than that. Oh, there's insulation above that? Yeah, so it's it's like, I mean, I, I know I hit some comb here. Oh, it's coming now. 
Tell you what, if you wouldn't mind holding this while I pull it down. Sure. That'd be great. What's your cameraman fee? Oh, no, 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 no. I, uh... All right, I got you in it. All right. I'll text these pictures to you to show your wife. Sure. <laughs> I don't know if that'd be a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, here it comes. Oh my gosh. Look, Alexa. Wow. So there's no comb in that. There's no, your combs. Yeah, no, so this this got separated, but mm. we'll definitely uh we'll definitely keep that one piece. So this is the this is the main structure of the nest. So you see how big that is mm -hmm. compared to how big this is. Right. You know, it's just like they go overkill with the building. And it feels like it goes forward a bit. There's even more up in there yet. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's a high rise. <laughs> yeah. Now we'll go ahead and go down to this real quick. Yeah, that's cool. All right, what Let's do you see want? if I can take these up in here a little bit All right. and see what's happening. Oh, you smell that, don't you? Yep. Yeah, so there's... I think that's it. I think that's it for the... There's a couple laying in here, but they're all dead. Nobody's alive. There's nobody, there's nobody left. Yeah, they definitely started building right around that that wire coming in and that pipe. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Maybe it would be a bad idea to like caulk it from back here or something too. Shove some of that stuff in there. What's that? I still have some. Would you go jam some in there? Yeah, because I can see light. Oh, you can. Yeah, can you see it from there? Oh my gosh, yeah. Unless yeah, if you right. want to just, okay. you can hop here, down and then I'll. All right. What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a chicken, yeah. Alexa. All right. Sorry, I think I have my finger in the way. All right. All right. There we go. Yeah, look at that. See if I, I'm gonna put this here, then I'm gonna step around and get on the ladder. And okay. Carry it down there. All right. Oh, uh, you just yeah. If you just want to go out towards the, the okay. doorway yeah. there, and see yeah. if I can get around this somehow. Without, I can't get my legs past it. Once All I get right. past, I can put it back down. You don't mind? I carry this through your house, do you? Oh, absolutely not. Okay. Just be careful. We can always bag it and just. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's fine right there. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> this is the nest. <laughs> it now like <laughs> this thing's huge TWSS I don't know if you can see that but I'll show you guys the back side try to do this without screwing it up I just vacuumed this carpet <laughs> and I'm getting all this crap everywhere Backside of it. This is what was against the wall. Alright, let me show you guys the comb. Alright, All right, so this is the comb. It's a little easier to hold. Um, so, this is like the main structure of the nest. This is what houses all the larvae. This is what houses all the adults and the, and the main queen, also the new queen. So, if this were to have like live adults inside of it that were wintering over for next spring to start a new colony, this is probably where they would be um, if it was going to be a super nest. Now, if they were just going to go start their own nest somewhere, they would leave the colony kind of towards the end of the season, the queens that is, they would mate with the males and then they would fly off and winter over and brush around the property somewhere and then go dormant or hibernate 
And then following spring, they would leave this area that they were you know, hunkered down in and they would fly off and look for their own place to start a nest. So this was sitting inside of that envelope casing like this, but other way, like it was like this. And I'm dropping crap everywhere. <laughs> so it was sitting like this inside of that envelope. And uh, towards the end of the season, when they stopped building as much comb, they repair a little bit of the comb, but for the most part, they are repairing the envelope or building onto the envelope. So you got all these adults that have just, they have to do something. They, their main purpose or what they feel like they have to do is build and build and build and build. So when they have nothing to build anymore, as far as structure is concerned, they just start building on the envelope. And that's why the envelope had all those strange, like chasms and strange, like out junctures and things because they just kept building onto it and just kind of happened substantially. Oh, squirrely squirrel. Ivory. 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 Oh, squirrely squirrel. Ivory. Oh, squirrely squirrel. Oh, sun beaten face squirrely squirrel. Where's she getting pregnant? Her belly looks full. <laughs> This is my peanut. Uh, These are my peanuts. Those squirrels are my peanuts. Oh, she's not. Oh, she's very squirrel. It's cold outside, squirrel. Hi, squirrel. Hi, squirrel. Is that a yummy cashew, squirrel? Is that a yummy cashew, squirrel? Squirrel. You like sitting in this house, squirrel? Squirrel. It's nice and warm in here. Oh, look at the white tufts on your ears. You're getting old, squirrely squirrel. Are you an old squirrel? Here, have this. And all that got, squirrely squirrel. Oh, what a nice squirrel. You enjoying sitting in the house, squirrely squirrel? It's been a while. That's outside. You can sit up here on the windowsill. Watch your tail. Watch your tail. All right, so first and foremost, I want you guys to know that I absolutely love the community that we have made here on the Hornet King channel. This quirky, niche little channel that I have decided to make a few years back has grown into something I never expected it would. Um, when I post videos, I get really excited to see my normal commenters, the people who have subscribed and have been with this channel for such a long time. I mean, I look for very specific names, Sugar Love, Doreen Hurley, Paul Genua, Feather Jean, Joker Wonder Woman, Derek Page, Lynn Lutz, Shannon Jefferson, Mark Pettis, Steve Shoemaker, my man. I look for all you guys, and there's so many more that I really couldn't tell you off the top of my head because I'd have to actually see the names pop up on the comments. But when I post a video, I really look forward to you folks being in the comments and telling me what you think just coming and conversating about what you thought of the video or what reactions you had. I love that. Something I don't get to do though, is I don't get to have a back and forth. I don't get to like engage you guys as to like what you thought or your reactions to it in real time. Um, so with that, I've decided I want to start streaming video. And I think that the best way for me to do that, that doesn't really affect the YouTube channel is to do it on a site called Twitch. And those of you who have been here before on my channel and those of you who I've just mentioned in subscriptions, you guys have probably heard me um, promote certain Twitch streamers that I like. Um, Lack Attack's one of them. 
Uh, at the time, he was Lack Attack 24. Now he's just Lack Attack. Um, and Mitch Flower Power is another fellow that I like to watch on uh, Twitch. They both do game streaming. But Twitch isn't just solely for game streaming. You can also do with uh, different categories. Basically, if you can think it, it happens on Twitch. Which I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But um, So what I'm going to probably end up doing here in the next couple days, maybe even the next week, um, I'm going to start a Twitch streaming channel. And it's going to be the Hornet King because it already exists because that's the name that I use for when I go and I view other Twitch streamers. But my main goal is I want to hang out with you folks. I don't get the back and forth the way these streamers do. So when I post my content, I work on my content for a few weeks or a week or so. And I post it in my, on YouTube and then you guys get the comment and I try to reply back as fast as I can to engage you guys and have conversation. But oftentimes I don't get any notifications if you guys reply to my comments. Um, and realistically, I, I really can't see every comment. So if I'm streaming live, you guys can comment right then and there and I get to respond to what you guys say. And that to me is super exciting because again, I don't know anything about you guys. You guys know a lot about me, but I don't really get to know much about the people who watch my videos. And I'm just like dying to get, engage with you guys and just hang out. Um, so I have some ideas of like some things I like to do on stream. Um, I like to have nests here and take questions about what you guys, what your burning questions are about, about wasps or about what I do. Um, or anything, anything about the channel, anything about me. I would just love to just chat with you guys and just have an evening, just hang out on Twitch. Um, for those of you who don't really know much about Twitch, it's a streaming platform. Um, so basically if you have a phone, you can go to Google Play, you can download the Twitch app and then you can make an account, sign in and then hunt me down on there at Hornet underscore King underscore official and that would get you to my stream. Um, and if you don't want to do it on your phone, you can go on to a desktop or uh, either a PC or a Mac, and you can go to twitch.com slash Hornet King official right here on the screen. And that way, when I'm streaming, you guys can come and check out my stream. You guys can chat with me in chat, what we call chat, which is basically just text. And you guys can talk to me and I can talk back to you. You can hear me talking. You can see what I'm showing you on screen. And it's just a way for us to really grow our community. And I'm just so excited by that, by that concept. The people that I mentioned here, those are just a handful of those that I recognize when I go into the comments. So I would love to just be able to chat with you folks and just really engage with the audience that I have who comes to my videos and make sure that they're first or make sure that they comment and tell me that they've been there because I recognize that and I see that in every video and I know that you folks always make a point to support my channel. So again, I would love for us to hang out on a Twitch stream. So I'll be putting it on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, and I'll be putting it here on YouTube under one of my community posts and let you guys know when I'm gonna stream on Twitch. I'll have a link to my Hornet King official streaming channel and that way you guys can just click on that and you can find out when I go live but I'll post a time and date when I'll go live. So I really hope you guys will be there. If you think you might want to join, drop in the comments and let me know what you think about it. And if you think you'd like to join the stream, just drop in the comments here. I would love to see who is actually interested in joining the, the Twitch stream. I'm going to be streaming anyway, so I would hope that you guys come and join me. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, drop in the comments, let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions for future videos, or something like to see me cover in an upcoming video, also drop in the comments, let me know. Also, drop in the comments and let me know what you think about the Twitch stream. I am so excited by this. I don't know if you can tell. Anyhow, all right, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next video.